Damn! You got me, officer. I'll come clean. Now that car, she buffed up real good. I painted her dangerous blue. In honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish I'm not so off. sure about this. It's on. No, no, no. That was close. I need that, I need that, I need that. Oh, that was easy. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. <laughs> Broke my fucking nose, big. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You won't scare me with the CSI. Oh, you really? ain't got it in you. Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Yeah, Just a little bit of like self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool, uh, I'll tell you the tale. Well, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't to question his kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon yep. when the car was Paco done. again. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Oh, no. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Nah, I'm good. I got this. Turn around. Oh. He's got. I have this game on the easy difficulty because I'm not used to a keyboard and mouse, so that. I think that made that portion a lot easier than it would normally be, but, you know, I, I mean, I've obviously screwed up some parts earlier on in the game, so. It's Mr. Shelby. And his sidekick. What can we find out? So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That well, makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. I don't know who else would do and it. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. <laughs> I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. 
Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. All right, let's go. Dude, I love this guy's aesthetic, man. Got a sweet ride. Awesome looking fridge. He likes old school, man. Oh, okay. I don't have a carton. I just have some eggs just sitting in my fridge. Why is there one to this game a damn savage? I don't... I don't understand. Aced it. These are good. I'm gonna fucking burn him to a crisp by accident. They good? They should be ready by now. Okay. Yum. <laughs> Probably edible. Impeccable time. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. And shall we? Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. <laughs> Thanks. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. He really with. used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're gonna find him. All right. See what we can find. We found somebody. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. What? Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Oh, where'd you go? There we go. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery.
Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Oh, okay. Is it over here? Maybe this guy knows something. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead. A little further on. Thanks. I think I just saw it. Figures. We're on the right track. A coincidence. Orchids? These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! God, beat it! You lousy, no good brat! Come back when you fucking. Comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Well, that's uplifting. Bet you can't catch me! Come on. Gonna help? There we go. Good old fashioned Look American fun right here. Waiting. Playing in a construction site. Hard ass, man. Come on, loser. Oh 
Oh my gosh, game. What you doing? You're coming or not? Oh, this looks safe. Very safe. Aced it. Come on, it's your turn. Let's go. It's time. I shall look dead. I'm not even gonna look at what I'm jumping down on. Hey, yow. Go, boys. I'm a god this game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, I ain't no cheater, okay? Seven, eight, I have on. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Alright. Oh. Uh, this is not good. Whoa! Uh, we got you. We got you. Come on. Hang on! Go on, hurry! I think 
The water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in that pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Huh. Well, this is kind of... Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard like drowned seriously in the something rain here. while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? No way! It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What you doing here? He's putting flowers. What? The shepherd's grave. I. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. It's Madison, Madison, Madison. Do 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 do. See. Oh, 
Well, all right, we're gonna do it again. Do it again. Madison, do the thing. Time to play the sexy girl. It's that easy. All women. This is the secret. Just, just mess with your hair for like two seconds and you're good. Cringe nine times nine thousand. Anything else in the bag of goodies? Yes, there is. I oh, may as well go the whole way. Nice. Mind I passed. Let's go. Hey, you. Easy. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. One more time. One more time. Thanks for accepting my little invitation. The door out here, honey. I think I would have known it a little bit more. My name's Papa. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah. Well, you move, Marisa. You make me all hot under the collar. Oh, my. Well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> I don't think he has the right idea about this. Here we go. 
gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. We got this. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> Actually a nice place. I'll take that. Not very nice taste of music, though. Well, good things. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. Hey. Okay, uh, could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. Uh, okay, that's the only option to me. I'm sorry. Um. I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood. Oh. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. I never say never for an answer. I... This is happening. Do what it takes, Mad. Play for time. Lamp? The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! Oh my god. Yeah. We're going for it. Baby sweet cakes. Uh, ha! That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. You fool. You fell for one of the classic blunders. Okay, act two. Let's hear Loverboy sing. Wakey wakey, chicken bacon. Okay. Ah! If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know balls when I cash up with you. Fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Boss? Is everything alright? Uh, 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 
Oh god. <laughs> if you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. What you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never saw foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ah, ah. Uh, Shepard! His name is John Shepard! It's the same I guy! Know, I swear it. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment. But I got a dash. Now, John Shepard is the See one who died. Lover boy. So the killer is using his name. Obviously, I mean, we already know that, but... <sighs> Time to get out of here. We've learned everything we need to know. I've got a massive headache. It's Naaman. Hey, it's Madison. Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. That's more like it. No frickin' way. Oof. He dead dead. Oh my god. We got him! Oh. 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 No, 
Nah, you ain't getting out of here. It's Naaman. <laughs> Naaman John FBI. You're under arrest. Fool. Uh oh. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. <gasps> no! Go, 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 go! He's gonna escape! He's gone. Did Paco know the guy came to see him? Sorry, I don't speak cop. Hi. What's my list, asshole? I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes. Or no. John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. Cannot believe we lost him. Comment multiple aquatic life present on the floor. Can I please? There we go. Madison Page? What was the journalist doing here? Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. It was him. Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. But for what? Forty five caliber. Madison Page? She may be a witness. Hmm. Uh, 
Obviously, we know what this is about, but Norman doesn't. I feel like there's another clue I'm missing in here. Oh, not a... Okay. A bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. Forty-five caliber semi-automatic. That's not what I wanted to do. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. That's a good thing I didn't miss Two that. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Why would the killer keep receipts from the gas station? How stupid could you be? I think we've got everything. I think we're done here. All right, well, I think that's a good place to end it right there. Um, almost, almost had the origami killer in our hands, but he managed to escape us. Um, wow, I don't even know what to say. So, um, starting to look less and less like Ethan, more like somebody else using a fake name. And other than that, I mean, we gotta find, we gotta find out who John Shepard actually is. Uh, wow. Alright guys, I will see you all next time. Alright, later.